Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ, I say welcome to the stories given together. Today I'm meditating upon, searching for the right advice. Before we start, let's see Scripture talks about in this topic, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. The way of fools is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to the advice. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we've just read. Our life is a blank canvas ready to put things together, what we see and experience around us. Our lives seem to be filled with many choices in the form of Pressure from the academic requirements in our youth society and cultural acceptance when we are young adults. Parental approval in life and career choices and peer or superior recognitions in our careers. What we choose and what we want to draw on it through our actions can create a masterpiece or an ugly picture. We all have tons of creativity inside us, but we need the right thoughts to choose what to draw and which colors we must pick and use to draw something on this blank canvas helping us create unforgettable memories. To accomplish such a challenging task, we often look for advice and especially for the advice of a subject matter expert. Often we look towards someone who's experienced to help us with our decisions. Our cultural pushes us to a far off place and tradition forced us to look at someone older. The wisest thing we can do to ourselves is to look around us at the wisdom we may have ignored. We must stop depending on the world and turn ourselves towards words. The words we have been provided which carry a well-seasoned guide of historical information and evidence to live a life worth living, and not only this life but the one we must live after we are done with our earthly life, the life of eternity. Try not to forget that he who wonderfully made us and allowed us to come to this world and is the center of our existence knows everything from our past to present and our future. We must acknowledge this truth. Now it is this time we must look over once again and start our dependence on our creator and the words he has provided for us. Pray that God will allow us to be open to the counsel of the godly who is already in peace. We must make a decision today to stop hearing the world and start listening to the words. Our decisions today will create our memories of our past. A lesson learned today will set our destiny from the future. So we must trust him and use his given word as our ultimate advisor to lead us to draw and fill with vibrant colors with perfect contrast and effect on our masterpiece. This message also gives us promise today. The promise is... For whoever finds me life and obtains favor from the Lord. Let's close time and pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, thank you for the words you have provided me to draw a perfect picture of your plan for my life. I trust that you will provide me wisdom and lead me to the path where your holy name will be glorified. Lord, fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength through your Holy Spirit so I can show my full dependence to act accordingly. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.